Okay, so again, we're just gonna do our best today. <laughs> every day, every day we just do our best. So let's start in a seat. And once you come to a comfortable seat, either on your sits bones or on your shins, arms can rest down, palms down, maybe palms up today, maybe hands on your torso. And if it feels okay in your environment, in your body to close the eyes, option to let your eyes gently soften or to let them close fully. And then start to bring your attention and awareness. Today, we're actually gonna start in the body because I know there's a lot of body sensation going on. So allowing ourselves to feel what's showing up as pleasant or as unpleasant at that, as that might be. And noticing parts of your physical body, noticing sensations that are arising. And that might be a, the same place that you've been feeling all morning. It might shift as you start to send your awareness to it. Taking a time to connect in with what's present and without shifting or changing or judging what's showing up, can you now transition your attention and awareness into your breath body? And slowly bringing your breath in through your nostrils expanding into the ribs, into the torso, into the lungs. And as you exhale, slowly sending your breath back out of your nostrils as everything softens back in. Inhale fully through your nose. And exhale fully through your nose. And slowly continue this pattern in and out. Noticing any subtleties in your breath, perhaps temperature. The invitation this morning is to continue that exploration of sensation, whether it's in physical body, through the shapes, through what's present because of our environment around us. You might notice more mental or emotional sensations. And so giving yourself permission to notice and then come back to your breath. And this process is something that might happen multiple times. You might kind of come and go with your consciousness and awareness. And when you do catch consciousness of it, let yourself fully be present in the sensation and then actively return to your breath. Let's take one more collective inhale. And if you'd like to part your lips, send your exhale out of your mouth this time. Option to keep your eyes closed or softly open your eyes. And we'll start by coming to lie down on your back. If you'd like to have a blanket or blocks or a bolster nearby, we'll be getting with a twist. 
And so once you find yourself all the way on the floor, begin by keeping a soft bend into your knees. Maybe you start in constructive rest, just letting your body transition from an upright seat into a lying down position. And then I'm gonna bring my blanket off the left side of my mat. We'll be twisting to the left first. And if you'd like to press down into your feet, you can scoop your, scoot your hips over to the right slightly and it will come to lie down all the way on your left side first. And then I'm gonna take the blanket for me in between my knees here. So I have a little bit more space between my knees and that's gonna give me a little more space in the hips. So that might be comfortable for you. You might take something else under your bottom knee. So start by finding a comfortable position in the lower half of your body. And then once you find that, you can take your right arm and start to open your right arm back over to the right. You might take your arms into a bent elbow cactus or extended arm into a T. This is a great place I find also to place maybe a blanket or a cushion underneath your right shoulder if that helps support you in the spinal twist. And once you unravel your upper body, you might notice then that the lower body needs to adjust. So really take your time setting up in this first twist and allowing it to be a space that physical sensation will be sustainable as we stay. And then once you find your structure and start to come back into the subtle sensations of your breath. In the beginning that process of noticing physical sensations places where perhaps there's an unconscious tightening or holding or activation. And if it feels possible and safe, maybe you start to soften through those spaces. And just like coming back to the breath and coming back to noticing, it's very likely that your body will also come back to activation. It's this unconscious kind of connection, this protection almost that our body has. And then reminding yourself, it's okay to soften, it's okay to let go right now. Moving through this process as many times as needed throughout this shape. Deep inhale through your nose. And deep exhale out of your nose. Allow yourself to stay as you are, as you take three more cycles of breath in the shape on this side. And 
And when you've completed your third exhale, a couple options to come back onto lying down flat. You might choose to bring your knees up. You might choose to roll back over to your left side. Maybe you take a breath or two there in that side lying position. And eventually we'll all make our way onto our backs. And let's all take constructive rest. So you can bring your feet about as wide as your mat. If your hips are still scooched to the right, it might feel nice to bring them back to center. And then let your knees fall towards one another for a moment. Arms can stay wide. If you prefer to bring the arms down, that might feel nice on the shoulders. And then stay here at neutral. And checking in with left and right sides of your body. One side might feel a little bit longer. I'm just noticing if there's any subtle or not so subtle differences. And take another deep breath in through your nose. And again, maybe this time you exhale out with a sigh. When you're ready, take your feet again about hip width distance. Knees can move away from one another. Press into your feet option to scoot your hips this time slightly to the left. And when you're ready, let your knees drop down to the right and roll your entire body to the right. So you've got a side lying position on your right side. Knees are more or less stacked. And then you might take the same support here or different support. So again, I'm gonna take a blanket in between my knees just to give me a little bit more space in my hips. And then when you feel ready in the lower body, again, you can unravel your upper body. And you might find that that movement causes the lower body to then need another readjustment. So take your time settling in, set up anything underneath that left shoulder that is supportive. And just as we notice differences in our resting space, now noticing differences between left and right, and maybe you need something different here. And so letting yourself support your body in a way that's most appropriate on this side and that might be something that's completely different or exactly the same. And so taking your time to settle in, to set up. And then when you're ready, start to bring your breath again in and out through your nose. And as your breath moves into its steady rhythms, taking your breath and using it as almost like a tool to look through your physical body and notice any sensation, any tension. And then again, coming back to that reminder to soften. Steady breath in through your nose. And a steady breath out through your nose. Noticing and softening.
making any adjustments you might need for our final minute here. Moving through your three final rounds of breath on this side. At the base of your third exhale, again, you might choose to bring your knees directly up. You might choose to take your left arm back over towards your right arm. So again, you find that side lying position for a moment. And then eventually, however you decide to arrive, we'll all meet lying down on our backs. And again, we'll take a second round of constructive rest, bring your hips to about a neutral midline position. Feet can be a little bit wider and let your knees fall in towards one another. And take a deep breath in. And again, maybe you exhale out through your mouth this time. Option to stay here in constructive rest or once more let your knees move away from each other. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width. Take your arms to attack cactus or tea again if they're not already there. And we'll take a few windshield wipers, dropping your knees slowly and softly from left and right. And if you find a space that feels good to stay, you might choose and stay there for a little bit, breathing into what shows up. And take a couple more from side to side. And then when you're ready, make your way back towards neutral. And press down into your feet, scoot your hips to either left or right side. It's simply enough that you can roll over this time all the way onto your belly. And then slide yourself. If you found yourself off your mat, you can come back to center. Untuck your toes. Walk your elbows underneath your shoulders. Forearms will be on the ground. Palms will be on the ground. And then there's gonna be a little activation here by pressing your elbows down just enough so that you're coming a little bit up out of the shoulder joints. And you might keep your gaze down to the ground. That'll bring the superficial back line stretch into your neck, maybe even up towards the crown of your head. You might choose to lift your head slightly up, keep your gaze softly forward as we move into Sphinx pose. And so noticing here if the activation happens in the backs of your legs or your glutes, if you notice that you can give yourself a little bit of softening. And then if that softening causes compression in your low back, maybe you lightly engage through your abdominals. And so I'll give you about the halfway mark. So if your head is up or down and if you want to swap, you can swap. And just always know that you don't have to, you can stay exactly as you are. Again, notice if sensation becomes pretty rich in certain areas, can you send your breath there? and engage with what's showing up instead of trying to avoid or judge. We're coming up to our halfway mark if you'd like to make any adjustments.
and start to move into three more cycles of breath here. On your last exhale, very gently start to bring your elbows a little bit wider. Come all the way down onto your belly and start by stacking your palms one atop the other. Let your forehead rest down. Once more, soften through your glutes. Allow your spine to find a bit of a neutral space here. And take a deep breath in. And exhale. And two more here. Bring your attention into your left foot. Tuck your left toes under me. And then I find by tucking the toes, I can kind of wiggle my left leg out. We'll take the left knee out, bend into your left knee, and then slide your knee up to about hip length. So you've got a 90 degree bend. The toe, the big toe mound will be on the floor. Pinky toe mound will be up. And so there's this rotation of your hip joint and you might find that the knee comes out at the hip level. It might be slightly lower or it might be slightly higher. Forehead can stay on the ground or you might choose to turn your left cheek and send your gaze to the right for rotation in your upper spine. I'm gonna keep my forehead down. So hopefully it's okay to hear. And then breathe into your low back, breathe into your outer left hip. If you're on a wooden floor, it might be nice to bring a blanket underneath your left knee if you're feeling any sort of compression or anything from your knee joint on the floor. So just feel free to pat up here as well. Breathe into your low back, breathe into your hips. And then take one more cycle of breath in. And exhale fully. If your gaze is out to the right, gently bring your forehead back down. Take a breath with a neutral neck spine. And when you're ready, slide your right leg back down. Again, you might kind of wiggle your foot so you can tuck your toes underneath as you gently bring your left leg back to center and then untuck your toes and take a moment to breathe here. When you're ready, tuck your right toes underneath, start to walk your right leg out to the side. And we'll take the same action here. So you can bend into your right knee, slide your knee up. The leg will still remain on the ground. Your knee might come out from about hip level. Again, you might bring it higher or lower. Big toe mound will be on the floor and there's about a 90 degree bend into your knee. Forehead can stay resting down or this time you might choose to turn your forehead over so your gaze is towards the left. Rest your head down into your hands. And take a moment to make any adjustments for this side. And then when you're ready, settle into your breath. 
Allow your hips to get heavy on the ground beneath you. And again, come into the steady flow of your breath. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale. And take one more full inhale. And exhale. If your gaze is turned over to the left, gently once more bring your forehead down to the ground. And then when you feel ready, very slowly slide your right leg all the way back. You might tuck your toes under and kind of wiggle your right leg back in line with your left. So both of your toes are untucked, legs are nice and heavy. Your heels might kind of splay to the side. Just stay right here and breathe. You might choose to rock your hips a little bit side to side. Or if you'd like, you can bend into both of your knees. So now the soles of your feet are towards the ceiling and rock your feet from side to side. So more of a prone windshield wiper. Mm -hmm. Nice. Allow your feet to rock one more time if you're taking that variation from each side. And then bring your feet back to center, re-extend your legs long. Take your time as you slide your hands underneath your shoulders. You can gently draw your elbows towards your rib cage. Tuck your toes underneath. And before you go anywhere, think of lightly engaging through your low abdominals to find a bit of support in your low back. And then once you feel your low back is supported, you can press yourself up toward a tabletop. Take a moment to walk your knees underneath your hips. You can walk your hands more or less underneath your shoulders. And then knees will keep going a little bit wider as your toes come together. And then you can sit yourself back towards a wide knee child's pose here. Option to take a blanket and you can roll the blanket up a little bit longer and maybe place that behind your knees. So it's on your calves, behind your knees on your thighs. That's gonna lift up through the sits bones a little bit and maybe give a little bit more support. You might also come down onto a bolster or onto pillows. Your forehead can find the floor or a block and then let your arms get a little bit heavy.
Take one more full cycle of breath in. And again, exhale out through your mouth. Actively press your palms down. Slowly start to lift yourself back up. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. You can remove anything that might be underneath your legs and then come back to your more traditional tabletop, finding the foundation. And then once you find your foundation, as you inhale, send your tailbone back, gaze forward towards cow. And as you exhale, gently engage through your front body so that you can round up and breathe into your back body for cat. Take a few more nice and slow and steady as you inhale, starting to find one breath, one movement. And as you exhale, connecting down, sending the breath out as you round up. We'll take two more like that as you inhale, spinal extension, reach it forward and back. As you exhale, find your round. One more inhale. And exhale. And come back to neutral. Walk your hands a little bit further forward, tuck your toes underneath. And then any way you wanna get there will unravel towards a downward facing dog. You might take a few pulses back here with your hips. I'm keeping a pretty deep bend into my knees. You might choose to bend one knee, straighten one knee, kind of play around with extension of your legs, maybe sway your hips from side to side. And start to come back to neutral, slowly walk yourself to the front of your mat, Uttanasana. Hands can be towards the floor. You might choose to bring your hands onto blocks. Again, soften through your knees, let your torso get heavy. And then as you inhale, slide up to a half lift, find a little bit of extension, tailbone back, crown forward. Exhale, melt yourself back down. We'll take that twice more. Use your whole inhale to find your half lift. Use your whole exhale to find your fold. One more. The next time you fold down, step your left foot all the way back. Ground down through your left heel. Press down as you slowly rise up towards a warrior two. Take your time to settle into your hips. Bring your hands to your heart and then imagine you can lift up into your heart space a little more while your tailbone drops down. So we're not tucking, but there's some length there. You might choose to keep your hands here or expand your arms front and back. An option to flip your palms up, let your shoulders soften away. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, straighten your front leg, lift your arms up, palms connect high, gaze might look up. And as you exhale with your palms still facing the ceiling, bend back down, warrior two. One more time, inhale to lift up. Nice. Exhale to lower down. Stay in your warrior two, flip your back palm towards the floor. Inhale up and back to reverse your warrior, stay low in that front knee. And then exhale, take a big windmill down, frame your front foot. Pivot to your back left toes. Find your stance in low runner's lunge. And then when you're ready, drop your back left knee, tuck or untuck your toes, press down, rise up, low lunge. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, take a twist over to the right. Inhale to center. 
Exhale, palms to the ground. Tuck your back left toes, lift your knee, step back to high plank, vinyasa if you'd like it, or straight up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in once you arrive, you can pedal it out or stay still. Deep breath out. And take another cycle of breath here. Once more, look to the front of your mat, walk yourself all the way forward, Uttanasana. Take a moment to get heavy through your upper body, press your feet down, lift your hips, and then inhale to a half lift. Exhale, fold. Two more, use your whole breath to half lift. Use your whole exhale to fold. Last one. And this time, step your right foot all the way towards the back of your mat. Ground down through your right heel so you've got both feet securely planted. And when you're ready, press down, rise up, warrior two. Take a moment to find your foundation again. Let your sits bones drop. Hands come to your heart as you lift your heart towards your thumbs. Stay here and breathe if you'd like or take your arms out wide, gaze can shift forward. Flip your palms up to the ceiling once more, take a full breath in, reaching forward and back. And a breath out. One more here. This time as you inhale, straighten your front leg, extend your arms, gaze up. And as you exhale, re-bend your knee, extend your arms wide, warrior two. One more inhale to press down as you extend high. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Flip just your back palm down towards the ground. Keep your front knee bent, inhale up and back to reverse. And as you exhale, windmill your hands down, pivot to your back right toes, find your stance first here, and then drop your back knee, tuck or untuck the toes, press down to the floor, rise up, low lunge. One breath in. And out. Take another inhale. As you exhale, this time twist over to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, reach forward and down, tuck your back toes, lift your right knee. Step to a high plank. Second round of vinyasa if you'd like, or again, we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And out. And two more wherever you landed. Bend into your knees, look forward, walk yourself to the front of your mat. This time we'll take one half lift. So as you inhale, find your extension. Exhale, forward fold. Press down to your feet, sweep your arms all the way up and overhead. And as you exhale, release your hands to your heart, all the way down by your sides, Tadasana. So two options here. You can ground down into your right foot, step your left foot behind your right foot, and then plug both of your feet down. I find that's going to help with um, playing around with balance, or you can keep your feet in Tadasana, so whichever you prefer here. Sweep your arms up and overhead, grab hold of your right forearm or your wrist with your left hand, and then press into your feet, whichever variation they're in, and start to take a side bend over to the left. Breathe up the whole right side of your body through your ribs and your hips. Gaze can stay forward or you might shift your gaze up 
If you've got the crisscross, you might notice that challenges your balance a little bit more. So bring your awareness back into your feet. Take a full breath in. And out. Press firmly into both feet. Bring your upper body back to neutral. Release your hands down to your hips. Adjust your feet. If you're not in Tadasana, come to Tadasana. And then let your arms rest down. Take a moment in neutral. Breathe into left and right sides of you. And then we'll take it to the other side. So this time you can shift the weight to your left foot. If you're taking the crisscross right foot steps behind and then think of plugging into both sides of your feet. I find here tendency can be to come to the inner blade. So think of your whole foot connecting down. Adjust your lower body, sweep your arms up and overhead. This time grab onto that left wrist or forearm. Take a little bit of length and then take a side bend over to the right. Breathe up your left side ribs, your hips, your shoulders. Stay here with a gaze forward. Or again, you might start to shift your gaze up towards the ceiling, playing with the balance a little bit more and then bringing your awareness back down into the soles of your feet. One more breath here. And out. And press into both of your feet, lift your arms and torso back to center. Release your hands towards your hips and then step both of your feet to Tadasana. Release both of your arms down. Option to shut your eyes here, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and overhead. As you exhale, flip your palms out, reach your arms wide, and then interlace your hands behind you. Doesn't matter which pinky's on top. And then press your palms down as you lift up through your heart space, slight contraction through your back body. As you exhale, generous bend to your knees, torso comes to thighs, hips to the ceiling, hands might reach high, and then head starts to drop low. Knees can be as straight or as bent here as you want. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, release your hands towards your low back, release your bind, frame your feet. Either foot can lead as you step one foot back and then the other, high plank. Vinyasa or straight to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. Two more. And gently release your knees back down to the ground. Sweep or crisscross your feet so that you can come back onto your sits bones. And then I'm gonna use my blanket to sit up on. So if you'd like to come to a little bit of elevation here, please feel free. We'll start with the left leg a little bit more towards center. Sole of your right foot onto the floor on the inside or the outside line. And today, if you want, left leg can stay long or shift your weight to the left a little bit, bend your knee so you've got both knees bent. So that might be a variation. Take your left hand either to a hug on that right knee. You might take it to the outside line and take your right hand behind you. Inhale to lift up. And as you exhale, start to take your twist over to the right. Take a few breaths to get there. And then when you feel like you're in the edge of your shape, we'll stay there and breathe. And take a deep inhale from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, maintain your shape. And twice more. And gently start to unravel yourself back to center. Release your right foot, 
release your left foot, both of your feet to the floor, about hip width distance. Hands come down to your shins, press into your shins as you lift up, find a length in your torso. And a big exhale. Let's take it to the other side. So right leg is going to extend long a bit more towards midline. Adjust through your sits bones and then left foot on the inside line or the outside line. Right leg stays straight or shift the weight a little bit to the left, bend into your right knee. So again, Yogini's choice where you're landing. I find sometimes that the hip can be higher. So maybe padding up a bit more under one cheek and then right arm reaches around for the squeeze or you might take the elbow to knee. Left hand side, find some space behind you. Inhale to lift up. And when you're ready, exhale, start to twist left. So again, you might take a few of these kind of exploring as you go. And so for me, I just notice with this twist, I'm feeling compression in the front of my hip. So I'm gonna walk my left foot out a little bit. So that might happen too. You might get into the twist and notice you need to adjust. So Feel free to adjust yourself as needed. Once you find yourself in the shape, we'll take three breaths. At the base of your third exhale, very slowly unravel yourself back to center. Release both of your feet to about hip width distance. This time slide off of your blanket, come all the way down onto your mat. And then once you find yourself on your back, knees will keep a bend into them. Option two, locate a block, press down into your feet, lift up just enough to slide the block underneath you on the medium or lowest height for a supported bridge. And then you might need to walk your feet out a little bit further in front of you to keep them more or less under your knees or slightly in front. Arms can rest down, palms face up. You might connect a hand to your heart, a hand to belly. And then stay here for a few breaths with your knees bent. The second option is to extend one leg. Let your leg get heavy. You might also choose to extend both legs. And so if you're taking one knee, then the other, take about three or four breaths on one side and then swap legs and take three or four breaths on the other side. I'm just giving the front of your hips a little more space. If you're doing one leg and the other and you haven't swapped, go ahead and swap at this point. And if this feels supportive, please feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. If your legs are extended, very gently start to bend into one knee, then the other. And soles of your feet find the floor and then take a moment here, this new shape. And when you're ready, press down into your feet Kind of curl your hips back so you can lift up just enough to slide off of your block. 
And bring your hips and your sits bones back down to the ground, block can get set off to the side and then stay here at neutral. You might also take your feet a little bit wider and take one more round of windshield wipers here. You could also take a constructive rest. So just taking any sort of movement or stillness that gives you some space if that's needed. And then choosing to find additional movement if you'd like, or if you feel ready, coming back to stillness, either through constructive rest, either extending your legs long towards Shavasana. You might also choose to come to an upright seat. And so eventually once you find yourself in your final resting shape. Again, bringing your attention and awareness into your breath body. And as you move through the rhythm of your breath, slowly letting yourself soften down and taking these last moments to rest. Slowly start to find your breath once more. And take the next few moments to deepen through your breath and allow that deepening to then find movement out into the rest of your body.
eventually in any way you would like to arrive, you can slowly roll over onto one side or the other. And as we did in the beginning of the practice, perhaps staying there for a breath or two. closed or finding a soft gaze, gently press yourself back up to a tall seat. Hands can once more connect in any way that feels good this morning on your legs or your torso, or your heart. And take one more inhale through your nose. And exhale everything out. Thank you for sharing your time, your practice, for being in the thick of sensation in all of its forms today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay cool, stay hydrated. Namaste. Thank you very much.